Welcome back everyone, Mudford here. Today I've got a 17 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine on the table. And this is one that was in a mower that we had. It wouldn't start. I'm not sure what happened. My son Jeremiah was using it to mow the yard and now it acts like it has no compression at all. So we had to steal the engine out of our mud mower project that we had not been working on lately. And we put that in our uh, regular lawnmower. So now I've got a 19 and a half twin setting in there but it doesn't fit real good under the hood and we just want a 17 in there so we're gonna go ahead and tear this engine down and see if we can fix it cheap and easy so let's dig into it I've got a bunch of these lawnmower battery trays, so I'm just going to throw all the bolts in these. Since it doesn't look like it has any compression, let's get let's get the head off first. Let's see what we see. There's eight identical bolts that are holding the head on. I just got them all out now. I'm just going to give the head a tap with this rubber mallet. And here's our problem. Found it already. The valve seat came off. So we'll go ahead and clean this up and take a look here, but we might not even need to go. We probably don't need to go any further than this. We can get this head fixed. We'll clean this up and take a look and make sure we're good we'll probably just put this back together so I guess let's get started disassembling this head okay these are are pretty easy to take apart. So there's not much for retainer for these. You just got to push this over, which I don't know if we can the way this one is with the seat. With the seat moved over, might have a little bit of work to do for that. Let's get it back into, I'm going to try to get it back into position as best I can and then maybe it'll come out. I think we still need to get this to compress more in order to get it to come loose. There we go. So I just compressed it a little bit more and I'm sure this is This valve is gouged up, so we're going to need a new valve, and that is the exhaust valve. 
and obviously a new seat. I forgot this engine was smoking like a chimney when we got it. That's why we got the mower so cheap. So we will go ahead and do a complete teardown on this. Guessing we're also going to need some rings. I'm not used to working on these engines a lot. I assume the cylinder came off, but I'm not seeing any bolts. It looks like the cylinder right there. More than likely, I'm going to have to take it loose from the crank in order to get the piston out. Once I get this cover off, I should be able to take the connecting rod apart and push the piston out. I'm a little crunched for time right now. So pardon the noise. Okay, we'll see what the guts look like now. Oil's a little dirty in there. Here's the camshaft. stuff out of the way we just got to get these bolts off right where are we that bolt and that bolt off and then we should be able to slide the piston right out Here we just gotta pop it the rest of the way out. There we go. Nothing here looks terribly bad. We've got some uh, carbon built up on the top of the piston, but anything that looks terrible. We'll definitely replace the rings though. What I need to get this engine back into running condition again is an exhaust valve, and seat, some piston rings, and some gaskets. So it shouldn't really be too expensive.